はい。In my video about old time signatures, I mentioned that we shouldn't let proud musicians lie to you. Apparently, many people believe that old time signatures are somehow more difficult. So, in this video, I will teach you an easy method which I like to call rhythmic displacement, and it's based on subdivisions. First, there's something I need to say. It's been difficult times, we all know that. So, if you'd like to support my channel, check out my playlist Original Music. There you can look for my original albums, enter the links in the description, and make a donation at the Bandcamp accounts of any project. You can choose your price or even get them for free, but I have a surprise for you. At the end of this video, I will wrap the names of everyone who has bought my albums, and I will do this for every new video. So, stick till the end. Alright, so I have explained in a previous video that the easiest way to create old time signatures is to skip the last beat of the second bar. That's it. Really. So if you have two bars of 4 4 and you take the last beat of the second bar, it will turn into 7 4, and more often than not, it will sound pretty damn cool. King Gizzard made fun of this concept in their song Mr. Beat. <laughs> And composer Max Richter made the same for his arrangement of Winter by Vivaldi. Even 3 4 time signatures work, and they would turn into 5 4. You could also skip the beat at the fourth bar, and it would turn into 15 fourth, and so on. You can experiment with this and get very good results. However, after a few minutes, it's possible that the rhythm turns monotonous or even kind of cheap. As I said, it's an easy and honestly kind of lazy way of creating rhythmic patterns, so I have another idea. Most complex time signatures are actually not performed in a linear manner. Instead, they Are composed of subdivisions. For example, an 11 four time signature can be performed in a subdivision of 3, 3, 3, 3, 2. This is what Primus does on their song 11. But even so, repeating the same pattern over and over again may turn square. So here's my idea. You look at the pattern of the subdivision and play it once. Then move the pattern to any side and play it in the second bar. Then move it in the same direction a third and even a fourth time. A few years ago, I made a composition in which I applied this concept, and I am using an 11 fourth time signature too. First, I divide the rhythm into eighth notes and subdivide it this way. Next pattern will use the same subdivisions, but I will move the numbers one step to the right. In this case, only the two will make the difference. So, second bar will go like this, and third, then fourth. This is how that sounds. Even shorter time signatures, such as 5 4, which is often subdivided in 3 3 2 2, can be displaced. Four displaced bars would look like this. Try clapping along. Alright, that's all for today. I hope you found this technique useful. Now it's time for the rap, I guess. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Jory Johnson. That's it. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.